Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a like collective kind of haul. I haven't done anything like this in forever, um, but I got stuff from ASOS, I got stuff from Tilly's, I got stuff from Adidas Foot Locker, I don't know where it was, I don't even know what the store was called at this point. I got a bunch of new glasses to show you guys and I got new like beauty stuff so I was like, you know what, like I was just gonna put it all away and then I said no, no girl, share it with people. So I'm here to share it with you, with, with you people. Before we get into it, I do wanna ask you guys uh, what you would what you want to see next in terms of will it fit you know that's the series where I go to like straight size retailers and I see if their largest size will fit and I feel like I haven't done one in a minute here so I want to know who you guys want to see next um, and whoever you know I see the most down there in the comment section will 100 be the next one so Let's jump right into this one because it's gonna be a long one. So, um, full disclosure, <laughs> Glasses USA has partnered up with me and they are sponsoring this video. Yay! <laughs> um, I've worked with them in the past and you guys seem to really enjoy that video. And um, so I thought I would do it again. So. If you guys want, you can actually go to Glasses USA and sign up and you can get 50% off of a pair of uh, frames and lenses, the basic ones. And you can also get free shipping. And let's see if what I show you doesn't give you a little inspo. If you go to glassesusa.com, you can actually do like a virtual try on, which makes it super easy. So you can see if like the frame is gonna be, you know, too small or too round or too square or whatever for your face. So it's really easy to do the virtual try on through their website. Like I said, I just do it on my phone, which makes it really easy for me. And they have a massive selection. The hardest part of picking the glasses is narrowing it down because they have a huge selection they have like basic stuff they have you know their house brand which is like glasses USA that's what I'm gonna be showing you um, outside of one new pair of Ray-Bans very excited about that um, and then they have other like premium brands and stuff too all right let's jump right into our glasses try on I will have the names listed and linked down below for you guys because I don't have them on hand but hi how do we like her? So this time around, I was like, you know what? I like playing with glasses now. Like, I like the fact that it makes me look different. These are obviously not like the non-reflective kind because you can, you can see the windows in my eyes. <sighs> look at nature in my eyes. I thought these were kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I've never had super round frames before because I feel like I look kind of round, but I feel like it makes me look like, especially with the white, like I'm like, I don't know, I should be in a laboratory or something. I feel very, like you know, I feel like I'd be evil if I worked in the lab. Be like an evil, per like, you know, I just watched Maze Runner and I feel like I'd be like the blonde lady in that one. She's kind of evil, but she's fly though. The Glasses USA, like their house brand, is super affordable, just so you guys know. Plus, obviously, you can get that 50% off if you click that link, um, but overall, they're just really affordable anyway. All right, next up, <clears throat> classic Sarah. She likes some thick, she likes some black. <laughs> the frames. Um, actually, these are like more of a tortoise shell on the side, but on the front, they look black, and then the side is like a tortoise shell. So it's, they, they're versatile, and they have depth, okay? That's what you really need to have. You need to be deep, okay? Uh, so these are pretty cute. These are very much like my classic kind of frame though. I tend to repurchase these all the time. Um, I just feel like they look best on me. I feel like a little sophisticated, little Nancy pants. And uh, oh, look at the, look at the little contour today. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> anyway, I thought these ones were cute. I don't know, like, is, is there like a specific style that's supposed to suit this face what kind of face do i have do i have a round face do i have like a, a heart face do i have like an oval face do i have an egg face do i have like a butt face you tell me i'm sure some of you out there really know i love when people tell me what kind of body shape i have no girl that's not you you're this <laughs> okay i'm gonna put that on my linkedin all right next up oh i forgot i even ordered these <laughs> hi boom bam bow baby i like the big ones I like them big. I like them thick. I like them covering my eyebrows. I like them big. That way I don't have to do my eyebrows. So yeah, I thought these ones were really cute. And they have like this, you know, extra-ness on the side, which I'm very much into that. And I kind of like that they're thicker. Um, 
I like the I like the glasses that have like the little what are they called the thing in the middle like the little feet or whatever because they tend to be lighter on my face but I love these because I can pop them up and put them in my hair and they don't get stuck in my ponytail which is very annoying not so much in the ponytail but when I have a bun and they get stuck I can't just undo a bun okay it's it's more complicated than that um, but yeah, I thought these ones were really cute. I love how big they are. Like, hey girl, I came to party. <laughs> but first, let me do my taxes. I don't care what anybody says. Wearing glasses just makes you look smarter. And if you look smarter, people treat you like you're smarter. And if people treat you like you're smarter, then you're just going to have a better life. That's it. That's all I have to say. Even if you don't wear glasses, I suggest you order some of these glasses. Use that little link down there. Order some glasses on the low low. Get your free shipping and look like you are trying to be Robin Williams from One Hour Photo because that's exactly who I feel like right now. If you've ever seen the movie, you might not want to be just like him. But uh, I mean, we can we can all be his essence, right? Like R.I.P. Robin Williams, he was he was real. Um, these I love though. I don't, I've been seeing them a lot more lately. I don't exactly even know what you call this style. Like I said, I'll have everything linked below, but. I love them. I love the thin, thin, thin frame. Like, I like the thick frame for an everyday use, but if I'm actually trying to be cute and use my glasses, like, as a part of my outfit, which I do that sometimes because, ma'am, it's cute, um, I like for the frame to be really thin because if I'm using it as part of my outfit, there's a really good chance I actually put makeup on that day, and if I put makeup on that day, I want you to see it. I didn't put it on for myself, okay? My skin does just fine without being covered in beige all day. But if I'm using it and I really want to like kind of, hey, be cute or whatever for the gram, then um, I love this frame and I love, I just love how it looks. It does give me one hour photo vibes, but I'm okay with that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then you're probably too young for me, bro. Okay, so these ones make me feel like I'm a cop and I could probably pull you over and like, I don't know, get your number out of the deal and <laughs> your driver's license number, you know what I'm saying? Um, no, they don't make me feel like I should be on chips because they're not like actual aviators, but I do feel like a snack. <laughs> if you don't know what chips is, you're, t you're probably, actually, if you know what chips is, you're probably too old for me. Pretty sure my mom was watching chips when she went into labor with my oldest brother. And finally, the piece de resistance. I love that it has a belt clip. Is this for a belt? Is that what this is for? I don't want to sound stupid right now, but I'm pretty sure this is for a belt. And I used to date this guy that would put everything on his belt. Everything. Like the remote control on his belt. Shoes on his belt. Everything was on his belt. And I feel like he would have put these on his belt. Um, anyway though, I think they're so cute. They actually sent me like the actual Ray-Ban frame also, or the Ray-Ban lens because it's got a little RB on there. Uh, because I had my prescription put into these, but these are Ray-Bans and they have the gold frame on them and then like the tortoise shell looking, I was about to call them sticks, but that's not what they're called. But she doesn't know what they're called, so she's gonna avoid saying it. I like that these are so different than my Club Masters because I wear my Club Masters all the time. I showed the Ray-Ban Club Masters in the last video that I did um, with Glasses USA. Uh, those are like hands down my favorite sunglasses of all time. But I'm not gonna lie, I've just kind of worn them to death. So I like that these ones look different. I like that they're round and I feel kind of bug-eyed. Like when my hair is down, especially these look really cute. Um, right now, I, I don't know, I feel futuristic, but <laughs> um, I still really like them. I will link them down below. They're very comfortable. They're not too heavy. And so you don't have to worry about like them. Uh, they might take a little bit of your makeup off, but for the most part, they are not super heavy. Like my Wayfarers are very heavy. And I have some others that are so heavy that they cause your makeup to just rub off if you have makeup on, which can be annoying if you guys know, like, you know, if you've ever had that problem, you know how annoying it is. I, <laughs> I made a little purchase. I bought a bunch of stuff recently from Ulta and it was cool or whatever and I was gonna put in a video and then I started using it and then I made it look all gross and now it just looks gross. And I'm thinking about bringing videos, like beauty videos back full force, like legit one every two weeks or every week. I don't know. I'm thinking of bringing them back though, but not like a let me teach you how to be amazing at makeup kind of video. More like a this is how I'm doing my makeup because you guys always ask because I'm about to film, but while I'm doing it, let's just chit chat and you know, patty whack and give a dog bone kind of thing. Like I just want to, I just want to talk with you guys when I'm doing my makeup. So 
If you're interested in that, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or whatever. Let me know because if I have enough positive love out there, then I will definitely bring beauty videos back because who cares about everyone's negativity? People say mean stuff to me all the time. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing what I do. Anyway, I ordered this because I'm out of mine or I'm about to be out. This is the Sun de Joie. Is that how you say it? Girl, I don't know. This is by Armani and uh, one of the times that I went to Ulta, I had Louis G pick out my perfume for me. And this is actually the one that he picked out. And I just thought, oh, this is big. This is bigger, this is bigger than the one I have? No, it's the same size. Um, this, I thought, smells, you know, at first I was like, mm, that's cute, it's a cute scent you picked out. I don't like it, but it's cute. <sighs> but now I do like it, it's lovely. It's very light and very womanly, I feel like. Uh, I wear a lot of Chanel. I like to smell like your grandma, okay? Not if she's dead. If she's dead, I don't wanna smell like her, but if she's alive and kicking, and she be making you lemon bars and stuff, I wanna smell like her, okay, Betty? Me and you can share this scent. Actually, my grandma's name was Maria. <laughs> yeah. I also picked up this Morphe brush. That's not how you open it. I don't know how to open it. This is the Morphe 330. It looks very fluffy. I would love to know how it feels. How do you open this? I don't know, but Morphe's brushes are so inexpensive and I've heard so many of you guys say like such positive things about it. I felt like I just had to pick it up. They just give one a shot to start with. I also picked up this Morphe palette. The only one that I have is the Jaclyn Smith collection from JCPenney. Jaclyn Hill palette. And um, anyway, uh, somebody was talking about this one and I don't remember who it was, but I picked it up because it looked beautiful. It's the Jewel Crew 9C and it's the, it's like a little palette, it's adorable. And the color payout is great. And look at this huge mirror. I travel so much, you guys, so for me to have like a plastic case and a mirror, like, oh, it's amazing, you guys. That's amazing. I'm just gonna swatch like a couple of them for you. Here's Purple Rain and Hidden Gem and If I Was a Rich Girl. Da 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 Is this how you, damn, how do you even, See, this is why I don't do beauty videos. Also, I saw everybody's favorite beauty gurus on the benefit trips. I mean, dang benefit. Can't even put me on PR list. I'm not asking you to take me on vacation. Put me on the PR list so I don't have to buy stuff like this. This is a bad gal, bang. And uh, this is their new mascara. Everybody's releasing new mascara right now. So I was like, all right, I'll try this one out. Because the Too Faced one uh, gave me, oh, I hate. I hate spoolies like this, I hate them. They're the plastic ones that are super bendy and like they don't have any real hair on them. Dang. All right, I'll let you know how this goes. If you guys want first impressions, then you're gonna have to tell me you wanna see beauty videos. But um, it's kind of, you know, they're kind of pricey. My favorite one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black from Walmart or Target or wherever you buy it from. Like, that's my favorite. Um, and it's only like $7. But uh, if that one's amazing, I will let you guys know, okay? I will. And I also picked up the Morphe 35F Fall Into Frost eyeshadow palette. So this is just like a big boy version of the other one, I guess. And this one has other colors. If you haven't noticed, I couldn't, I'm having trouble not doing an orange shimmery eye lately. That's why there's no eyeshadow on my eye because I knew if I put any eyeshadow on, it would somehow turn into an orange shimmery eye. And I had to let that look go because I've had it for like seven straight videos. So that's why today we did this, okay? Um, but how pretty are these? They're like, it, they just look like fall shades. Is that what it's called? Fall into frost. Oh, like fall and winter. I get it. I get it. They have a good combination of like shimmery ones on here. They only have one row of mattes. But that's okay because your girl is a shimmer queen these days. I love it, I really do. Okay, and I went to like Foot Locker or Foot World Champs, Champion Feet, something like that. I don't know what store it was. You can get these from anywhere, but I picked up a new pair of tennis porque I need some new ones for the gym and I can't find any. Like what tennis shoes do you guys wear to the gym? Cause I wear Nike Roches, Rashi, Roche. You know what it is. If you know what it is, you know what it is. I wear those and I've probably gone through like three pairs, but I just feel like it's not enough for me. Like I need something that's just gonna be able to support me a little bit better, you know? Um, so let me know what your favorite like gym shoes are, like running shoes or whatever, cause I'm just having trouble finding a good pair. But I did find these ones, you know, during my quest. 
And these ones were normally, or they're $130 plus whatever taxes. So I think they were like $140. 45 or something it's a lot this is probably the most i've ever spent on a ton of shoes because i'm not that girl but how gorgeous are they and i have like i don't have super wide feet but you know i got some fat feet so um they fit really really nicely and sometimes cool shoes don't fit you nicely when you look like me so i love them and they're navy i also saw the pink and um gray ones those ones were really cute too oh these are the nmd r2 w's I don't know what that means. I'll link them though. <laughs> but they're so comfortable, you guys. Seriously. Try them out if you haven't. They're very comfortable. I figured I would wear these with like jeans or something. Like, you know, when I'm just running around town trying to look cute or whatever. But still be comfortable once Ugg season has officially ended. Which I feel like it might be ending here in the next few weeks. <clears throat> and then it'll be back to fuzzy thought slides. Yeah. Next up, um, we got some stuff from ASOS. And, okay, let's start off with this because it doesn't make any sense. Why did I even buy it? I don't know. It's adorable. I love it. It's, I think I ordered this before Valentine's Day. I had to have ordered this before Valentine's Day. But it has these hands on it that are making a heart. And it's just like a PJ set. The shirt is big and wide. It's like a giant just square. And then the pants are, um pink with all these little hearts on it. They're so freaking cute. It's super loose and like oversized, even the pants. I probably could have sized down. I got them in a US 18. Um, I think a 16 would have fit a lot better, but they're super comfortable and I'm gonna sleep in them. So like really who cares how they fit. And then I also got this uh, swimsuit from ASOS. I know you guys want to see like a big ASOS like dedicated kind of haul, but I have trouble finding stuff that like I love their site, but I feel like I always mess up the sizing. So I have to work on that a little bit better. But I did get the sizing right on this, so I bought this swimsuit. It was random, but I thought it was really cute and I'm not terrified of stripes like some people. So um, I thought, you know, I thought it was cute. It's black and white and it has like the horizontal stripes across the uh, waist and then the vertical stripes everywhere else. And I think I got it in a US 18. But I don't know. I got it in a US uh, 20. I was trying to kind of err on the side of caution. It is a little bit loose on top, but it feels, it fits the bottom part of me like perfectly. So no complaints, I'm gonna keep it. I also picked up these like workout pants. Now I'm a little mad about this one. I'm not mad, but um, I thought that they came with a top and they don't, I felt dumb. Cause the top and the bottom together are beautiful. These are the South Beach ones and I got them in a size US 18 and they're just like your basic kind of workout pant. They have the red on top, then they have the white mesh on the side with the red and the white paneling also. And I think they're super cute and they have a matching like sweater kind of thing. And I really want that because that is what kind of set it off and made it look super cute. But anyway, those fit me really nice. Um, they have a really good workout selection there. And for whatever reason, ASOS in the US does not sell this magnificent sweater, but in the UK they do and they sell it in red. It's red and white and it is gorgeous. I saw it on Sherilyn, I don't even know how to say her name. I've just seen her on Instagram a lot. She's like the girl with all of the sneakers and all of the fashion and she's just great. She's from the UK. Um, but I saw it on her. I saw her wear the red one and I was like, well, I gotta have that. And she said, oh, it's, you know, ASOS. And I was like, okay, cool. Oops, swipe, swipe, add to cart. <gasps> no, it won't add to my cart. Let me flip to the US side and no, it does not exist on that one. So that's annoying. But I found it in black. Okay, good enough. This is in an XL and I got it from Macy's. So I think it was $70 and oh, I love it. It's got the logos all over it. If any of you guys know where they sell the red and black one or red and white one, let me know because this is gorgeous. It fits so nicely. Like, th hello, this might take the place of one of my Adidas sweaters, okay? Because you know I love Adidas, but um, that is just so comfortable. It's lovely. Oh, this wasn't $70, this was $40. What? 40 bucks, that's what it says. Hopefully that's what I paid, I can't remember. Um, and then I also finally, I picked up a pair of these pants from Nike. So many of you guys are like, please try out the pants, please try out the workout, please try out Nike Plus. So I did, and I got these in a size 2X and I should have got a 1X because they, I mentioned this in a previous video, the center, like where the, my thighs meet basically, it's not flush and so there's like a little bit of like my legs that'll touch each other and that is super irritating when I am 
working out like on the elliptical or whatever like for my legs to be rubbing against each other like that horrendous and then it's not real real tight on my waist in the back so I don't know if it's just a funky fit on me or if I should have just gotten the one X but um you know overall cool a little pricey for some leggings basically but overall I don't hate it um, if you want to see a full Nike plus like dedicated video let me know. I'm more than happy to try the whole brand out um, if enough of you are interested in it. Otherwise, I probably won't because that's going to be a really expensive video. And I got some stuff from Tilly's, but it's mostly for the kids, but I just want to show you this one because it's so cute. I don't even like friends like that. I was a Seinfeld gal myself, but Nala picked this out because it said friends. She didn't realize it was from um, the show, and it's just like this black hoodie, and it's just so, so cute. Taking the kids to uh, Santa Cruz for... Uh, spring break and I was like oh that'd be cute like at night you know and it's gonna get a little bit chilly outside you can wear your little friends hoodie how cute and Jaden got a bunch of stuff too he got like hats and stuff they don't need but anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to uh, sign up for glasses USA give them a shot and you can get that uh, free lens with or rather free frames with those uh, basic lenses and free shipping the link will be down below along with the link to all the glasses and everything else that I showed you guys today let me know what will it fit video you want to see let me know if you're interested in me seriously bringing back beauty videos and let me know if you want to see a full-on Nike plus haul like try on first impression kind of thing second impression because technically i already just we just made an impression here but anyway hope that you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and that's all i got for you guys so i will see you in my next one bye guys